GoPro mounts. There are a lot of them out there, but which one is best for you? Today I have six different GoPro mounts and I'm gonna talk about each one of these and which one is gonna be best for you depending on what you're filming and the situations that you're in. Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Susie with Gemini Connect. I run a photography studio here in Seattle, Washington. And I also run a YouTube channel where I like to talk about camera gear and an alternate YouTube channel where we actually use the camera gear and go out and travel vlog with it. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing to either this channel or our second channel Gemini Discover. So here in this channel we talk a lot about GoPros just because this is the most compact option for vlogging and GoPro cameras have really improved over the years thanks to hyper smooth stability and the inclusion of a media mod and other features that really make it a great compact vlogging camera. However, the camera is just one of many tools that you should have in your vlogging kit. So another thing that you wanna have is a mount to hold that camera steady or to hold it in place as you're moving around and shooting. So today I have six very popular and useful mounts that we use with our GoPro and I'm gonna introduce each one to you. And the nice thing about all of these mounts is that you don't have to use them with a GoPro exclusively. You can use them with other small compact cameras such as action cameras or even a small point and shoot or you can even use them with your smartphone. So the very first mount I'm gonna to introduce to you is the Joby Telepod Mobile. This is a super compact travel tripod and it's actually made for smartphones, but you can get this little adapter piece here, which allows you to mount a GoPro to it. Now for us, this has been the perfect complement to the GoPro because it can function as a handle as you're vlogging around town, but it also has a really cool center column, which can extend up. This is really great for using the GoPro as a selfie stick or just getting a little bit of height if you have to reach over a crowd. Or how we like to use it is vlogging on a tabletop. When you place the camera down and you can just use this column to adjust the camera so that you're getting a better angle of yourself. Now I'm going to use the telepods feature to raise um, the GoPro to eye level, which is one of the best features. There we go. So now we're eye level with the GoPro. Here are eye level, we have the receiver up top and up to my bag. So I gotta keep my bag on is the only thing. First meal is the crab and goat cheese crab dip. Crab and goat cheese. Which All right. has to be photographed yeah. before it has to be eaten. We've been using the telepod for well over a year and it's been a really great solution. However, there are other options out there, so let's talk about those. The second mount I have is also our smallest. This is a tiny little handle that also doubles as a tripod and it fits the GoPro just perfectly. This is not a GoPro brand. This is some third-party brand that we found on Amazon as we were traveling in San Diego and just needed some small little compact option. So this tiny little mount is pocket sized and it's really great for when you want to vlog inconspicuously with the GoPro and not draw a lot of attention to yourself. The next mount is also our latest purchase that we weren't really sure if we needed, but a lot of people recommend this. So we finally took the plunge and decided to try it out and lo and behold, we really love it. This is the GoPro 3-Way and it's an official GoPro mount and it's really well made. It's mostly plastic, which is really great because it keeps the weight down, but it also has this really nice rubberized handle here. And even though this looks really small and compact, it has the magic of the telepod in that it can also extend if you just loosen these two knobs here and also press this boo button then the three-way can extend out and be a tall selfie stick and at the bottom of the handle you'll find another knob that if you undo there is a tiny little travel tripod built in here but it only works with the handle so you just screw it into the bottom of the handle and you can get even more height or stability for the whole rig itself the only thing is that this is a super small and not very steady tripod, so it's not always the best for supporting this entire rig, but I really like the inclusion of it, just as the option to hold this on level ground if you choose to. When it gets far enough away yeah. so we can both be in the frame. So like in this case, we're both in the car, and ideally you want the GoPro kind of like up on the windshield, which is really hard to do unless you have an extension like this to kind of curve out so that you can both be in the frame. Downfall is that when you extend all the way out, it's actually better for a picture, but mm -hmm. for a video it shakes, well, even with hyper smooth yes. boost. And right now we're on a dirt road. I was so. gonna say, we're also on a really bumpy road, so I'm sure that's not helping either, but <laughs> 
we should hopefully both be in the frame. And because the telepod is such a close competitor to the GoPro 3-way, let's go ahead and compare them side by side here. So the telepod itself is actually slightly taller than the 3-way, but if you add on this tiny little tripod grip to the 3-way, then it actually gets a bit of a height advantage. So that's the main difference between the two, but the telepod also has a rotating ball head here so you can get different angles but you can also go ahead and get a smaller ball head and put that on top of the three-way as well. So there are different modifications you can make to get these to be close to each other. But overall, their heights are pretty equal. And I would say that the three-way has a bit of an advantage in that these joints lock into place a lot more securely than the telepod does. So if you're out doing a lot of rugged uh, adventuring and you need a super secure mount, then the three-way is probably your best bet of the two. But if you need a really strong base, then the telepod is gonna give you that more so than the three-way. And when contracted, the telepod also condenses down into a more compact form that's less obvious that it's a tripod versus a three-way, which is a lot more attention grabbing and makes you look twice at it. And this can be important if you're in a situation such as an art museum or an event where security doesn't allow selfie sticks or tripods. This is a lot easier to pass off as a non-tripod, just a plain handle versus this one. The other reason why we really value having a tall mount is that we can stick these out the sunroof of our car to get some great driving shots. You just have to hold on to these really tightly to make sure that they're secure, or the telepod does have the advantage of having a wrist strap included. The three-way does not have a wrist strap, but I'm looking for a way to add one because I really feel like that would take this to the next level. And now that I look at it, I do see a little thread here, so I can indeed add a wrist strap. I just need to go find one on Amazon. So we're demoing the cause. Ooh, and actually I'm gonna do the other thing of why we do this. But if you're not comfortable using a tall tripod or a selfie stick to get driving shots as you're moving in a vehicle, then this is another great option to look at. This is the Joby suction cup, and it's really great for attaching to a window or a mirror. We use this a lot for our driving shots by sticking this on the outside of our car or also on the inside of the car to grab some vlogging shots. And if you have a modern GoPro such as the Hero 7 or Hero 8, Hypersmooth is so good that you can be driving on a really bumpy road and you still get really stable footage. All right, so we are car vlogging with the Hero 8 Black in the Media Mod using that media mod microphone to pick up our voice and hopefully we both are in the frame we're also on an exceptionally bumpy road <laughs> so hopefully i can see that gopro just like quivering uh hopefully this is stabilizing it pretty well but it's worth mentioning that we're using the most stable mount for cars the locking arm by joby not necessarily any of the other variations yeah, there's another suction cup with like that bendy gorilla pod arm on it, and that you know can help you get multi or like different angles, but it's not super steady. This locking arm is the better one of the two, but wow, that's really shaky. So yeah, we're see. driving on gravel. It would be an interesting experiment for the hyper smooth. We have an entirely different video coming up on our whole car vlogging setup, so stay tuned for that one. The next mount is the GoPro Jaws. So this is a really strong clamp, and it also comes with a bendy arm that you can either have on top or you can use it separately. But I really like the flexibility of it in that you can put the GoPro in places where a tripod can't go, thanks to the nature of this clamp. This is a really great option if you're looking for alternate angles to put your GoPro, such as on a ledge of a table or on the end of a shopping cart. If you're doing a shopping vlog, there's a lot of different ways that you can mount your GoPro using a clamp like this. So this is really good if you are getting bored of using a tripod or just want to find creative angles to shoot from. In case we need to vlog from this angle, for some reason. Actually, this could be a good reason because the light is coming down on us. This thing is fast, by the way. <laughs> this is dehydrated egg, spaceman food. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Not the worst, <laughs> nor the best. Yeah, it's fine. If we were like straight out camping, like without walls and a stove, like this would taste amazing. <laughs> 
The final mount I'm going to talk about is the classic Joby Gorilla Pod. This is the one that started it all for most vloggers, and it's the most popular thanks to these bendable legs that can wrap around tree branches, railings, just about anything, or it can function as a regular tripod on a flat surface as well. So I have two of them here. This is the 5K and this is the 3K. Now for GoPro, you don't necessarily need to use it on the 5K because it ends up being a lot bigger than you actually need. But the nice thing about the 5K is that you can use this with a mirrorless camera or a DSLR. So if you have a bigger camera and you want the flexibility to use this Gorillapod with either the big camera or a small camera, then get the 5K. However, if you're working with a smaller camera all around, such as a smartphone or an action camera like the GoPro, then the 3K is probably going to be better for your needs because the size complements a smaller camera. This is one of the most classic ways to use the Gorillapod, which is to bend the legs so that the camera is far enough away from you so that you're all in your frame as you're vlogging. And this, of course, is the very classic way of using a Joby Gorillapod, more or less. You could probably straighten the legs out better. But yeah, people use this to vlog because it gets your camera far enough away from you with that little curve. You can also rearrange these legs to stand on a flat surface or the nice thing about the Gorilla Pod is that you can also position your camera to be on an uneven surface which is something that the Telepod can't do. And why I'm using it right here is that we're on a bit of a slope with uneven ground. And so the three-way and the Telepod would have some trouble here but because these legs are so flexible we can set it up so that the GoPro can have a little angle here and do its time lapse. And finally, there's this little piece here that you can use with Gorilla Pods. It attaches below the ball head and it gives you two extra Joby bendable arms for adding accessories such as lights or an external microphone, just whatever you think is gonna help your filming. We are now rolling with two GoPros. We're using the Hero 8 Black because it has the Media Mod mic and this is the Hero 7 Black, but we're keeping it because we thought, you know, for time lapses like this, or we know that we're gonna be here for a little while, that we can just set up a time lapse. And so I'm also using the Joby Gorilla Pod, or the Joby Telepod mobile, but I kind of wish I had the Gorilla Pod because it would be really easier to set it on this rock here. So this is another really good reason to have multiple uh, GoPro mounts so that you can, if you have multiple cameras that you're shooting with, you can use one mount on one camera and one mount on the other camera. So in conclusion, which of these six mounts is best for you? It really depends on what you're gonna be filming and where you're gonna be filming, as well as the angles that you have in mind. If you're just starting out, then I recommend getting a pretty standard tripod, such as the Telepod, the GoPro 3-way, or even the classic Joby Gorillapod 3K. These will give you a really great base to start with because they can function as a tripod as well as give you a handle for holding your camera and stabilizing it. There's also this tiny little GoPro handle slash tripod, which I also recommend getting just because it's so small, it's so cheap, and it's one of the best ways to quickly and comfortably hold your GoPro as you're filming and not draw a lot of attention to yourself. As for the rest of these mounts, such as the Joby suction cup and the GoPro jaws, I would say that these are really specialty mounts that you only want to use if you think that you have certain creative angles in mind or you're just bored of using your standard flat tripod. Anyway, that's my my two cents, but I'd love to hear from you in the comments below about which mounts you like to use with your GoPro. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.